The night was mighty dark so you could hardly see For the moon refused to shine A couple sitting underneath a willow tree For love they pined The little maid was kind of afraid of darkness So she said, I guess I'll go This song was played on a Kala KAS model. You can see it's all mahogany, rosewood uh, fretboard. And the difference with this one was, I was I've been curious about them on eBay because this is one considered a blemish and I was wondering what, what exactly is the problem with it. Here you can see the headstock is stamped number two. And on the front there's no blemishes that I can see at all. Nice pretty grain. It's got the pretty binding on too, which I like. Uh, and the back looks really nice. It's got one scratch on the back. Let's see here. And because it's a matte finish, you don't really see it that much. There you can kind of see it. The only other thing I can see is that the scarf joint is not really neat and clean. But it's a good sounding ukulele, and if you're looking for a bass model, um, I'm actually kind of embarrassed when you figure what I've paid for a couple of my custom builds. The, this sounds really nice. You heard it played in that last song. I'll just do a little, uh, this is from my video, kickball video about that, so I'll just play a little of that. sounding ukulele. It's got a cool of strings. If you're looking for a bass model or something that you wouldn't mind uh, hurting or you're thinking about starting ukulele, I would highly recommend this one. It's a very good sounding uke. Plus it has the advantages of being a grown-up looking one. Uh, the Macaulas are cute with the dolphins on but I wanted uh, this one to go uh, in a setting that would be taken a little bit more seriously because it really is a nice sounding uke, good sounding uke. You can hear the strings ring. Got good intonation. Here's the C6 chord for Gerald Ross. Not bad. I hope they enjoy it. It'll be at their house on Tuesday.
thirsty dog.